Hi, Drew. Hello, Brian. We just spent all weekend together. We did! And now we're back here at <laughs> Hello, work. Hello, once again. <laughs> we are talking about the DC Pen Show today. It's Wednesday. Uh, I was off on Monday, otherwise would have shot something. Uh, but we did shoot something with Penboy Roy. Yes, in which I <laughs> acted like it was Friday, but you saw it on Monday, so sorry for that. <laughs> it definitely was Friday. I got confused. Well, we don't often shoot these like no. not on the day that we're publishing them. But anyway, um, so we were at the DC Pen Show this past week. We were, and it was amazing. Yeah, you were more involved in the show than you've ever been before. You've yeah, been, yeah, you've been yeah. before. It yeah, was, I think I've been the last five years, four years. Really? I think mean? I've done three at the old place and then three at the new place. Wow. Or two at the old place, three at the new place. I was going to say, that's six that it you was least, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably <laughs> probably five then. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because so this is the third at the new place. Yeah. Yeah, so I've done five. Wow. How about that? Yeah. You're, you're not a noob anymore. How about that? <laughs> uh, this was my 11th DC pen show. All right. Got a one so up me there. Not to, you know, say anything, but uh, I was, you were practically in diapers when I started going. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Drew transitioned very late in life. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <I'm just laughs> medical condition. <laughs> I'm kidding very much. Um, so yes, we went to the DC show. We were pretty involved there. Um, you know, for the DC show for us, I have notes on this. I really should break them out. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm a little tired. Um, so anyway, Drew, why don't you say some things while I pull up my notes? Well, I clearly, as evidenced by the pile of stuff Brian has here, you know, uh, some acquisitions were made. Um, I didn't get anything. I was just there to, I mean, if I saw something, obviously I would have got it because, you know, self-control. <laughs> um, but honestly, I just loved being in there and every year being within the just energy, the environment and the yeah. passion, like I, it just, I absorb it and it is just wonderful to see. We're an online only retailer, so I don't actually see a lot of the folks that are interested in the fountain pen experience. So we talk to them and I get to see a lot of products in the warehouse. But when you go there, you see everything laid out, all beautifully presented by the retailers and independent sellers, and you get to talk to the customers. You get to talk to the people that are keeping this community alive and thriving, and I just, I feed off of it, and it helps so much to get things in perspective, and throughout the rest of the year, until next year's show, I just am fueled by it, because it reminds me of why it's such an amazing community to be a part of. I completely agree with you on that. I think DC DC show is the biggest. We've been, com between the two of us, we've been to like, what, four different shows, I think? San Francisco, DC, Atlanta, and you went to Raleigh mm -hmm. this year. Um, and I hear good things about other shows too. Baltimore, um, Philadelphia, LA. Yeah, Dallas, Colorado. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good things that I hear about a lot of different shows. Um, DC though is, is kind of known as the big one. Yeah. Um, and it is a bit uh, chaotic just because of how many people are there. In fact, this year, we heard that they had to let people in. We didn't go like right at the opening, but right. they had to let people in early because there were so many people in the lobby waiting to get in. The fire marshal said it like wasn't safe to have a crowd that oh, big, and they were forced wow. to let people in. Wow. Yeah, so it was just, uh, that is really exciting to hear about <laughs> in the pen community if there's that I'm many I'm sure people. the hotel managers were excited too. Well, maybe excited in a different way, but uh, for the sake of the pen community, I think it's really good. Yeah. Because there was a time when there were a lot of people who were doing the shows that were nervous. It's just so alive. That it was going downhill. No, goodness no. Yeah, like, but you, it's thriving and alive and just buzzing with energy. Yeah, and there's a lot of youth and vitality in there mm -hmm. where that wasn't necessarily always the case. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool to see even in this internet age that it's actually helping to spread the word about these yeah. shows and stuff like that, it's which fantastic. is really cool. Um, you know, we went, uh, Rachel and I went on Friday night. We met with a couple of different people. You know, for us, we it, there's several different like purposes that we have when we go to the show. There's like vendors, suppliers who we do business with that are all in one place. So we try to meet with them, see prospective new products they may mm -hmm. have and stuff like that. Um, we have, you know, our team. We had, what, 10 or 11 of us that went this year? I think about 10, um, yeah. Well, it's because some of them were there in the morning, not in the afternoon and vice versa. So I don't remember how many actually made the trip, but it was, it was like a good 11, amount. 12, yeah. yeah, so it was a pretty good amount of our team that went more than ever before this year just to go and see, and we all had a lunch together. Yeah, we did. At uh, Cyclone and Naya's. Yeah. And uh, we got pancakes. Heck yeah, we did. At a Mexican restaurant. Because two years ago, we ate there. Drew, being the adventurer that he is, saw pancakes if I on see, the menu. If I see pancakes on the menu anywhere, I'm going to get them. But 
they were at a Mexican restaurant. So I'm like, okay, these pancakes are on here for a reason. Are this needs to happen. You're like, are they Mexican pancakes? It doesn't what matter. What does that even mean? I need to have them. So I got them, and they were amazing. They're and just like straight up pancakes, just like you would get at a yeah, diner. Yeah, but they were really, really good pancakes. They had a lot of butter in them. So and Drew hyped these things up for like two years. They were so good. So we all went. Six of us ordered the pancakes, and I think we all enjoyed them. They Heck were great yeah. pancakes. They so, were amazing. Good job, Drew, on that. They um, do not include rice or beans. Yes, just they're specific about that. There's a disclaimer on there. The so, <laughs> I guess people were Temper assuming. your expectations. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, okay, so we, we did that, and then we, um, we had a class. Class. I use in heavy quotations uh, that Drew and I taught together. Taught. Um, taught <laughs> together at the DC Pension. No. Uh, so it was uh, a Fountain Pen 101, kind of a broad topic. Very broad. Essentially what happened is, you know, in years past we've tried to do meetups at the show because we get people that are like, oh my gosh, you guys don't go to a lot of shows, we don't get to see you in person, can we meet with you at a, a, at a time, at a place? And normally I'm like, I don't know, just try to run into me. And yeah. then I get bombarded the entire show. So um, last year we did a, a meetup in the lobby and we ended up being kind of a fire hazard of sorts. Uh, so I was like, maybe we should try to get a something a little a bit more place official to yeah, meet. Yeah. yeah. So I asked the show organizers, can I get a place to meet at a time? Something with a in, sign in that says a room. max occupancy. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, sure, you can do that. What's your class going to be? And I was like, well, what do you mean? They were like, yeah, well, you know, the, the rooms are for classes. And I was like, Fountain Pen 101. Okay. So anyway, we did go over some Fountain Pen 101 we stuff. We did. Loose topic. Um, we yeah. didn't record it or anything, but. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was just good engagement with the audience. They were helping us uh, answer questions and stuff like that. It was very collaborative. Yeah. Very fun. Talk about pens, ink, paper, you know, yeah. the whole deal. Did some Q&A and then some meetups afterwards with, you know, getting to actually see FaceTime one-on-one. -on -one Which is, with again, yeah. super exciting. Very energetic. Absolutely. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, we did walk away with some stuff. Um, you know, for me, for me, you know, kind of like what you said, it's like if I see things that are really interesting yeah. myself, I'll pick them up. But mostly it's for the people for me, yeah. you know, because it's like I can see stuff. Stuff is kind of agnostic to the time-space continuum. Like I can get stuff. It can be shipped. But I can't like, you know, meet people face to face. Yeah, I feel like the smaller shows place. are actually a little better for shopping for me. Yeah. Because like with this place, I'm just like, oh, you, there's you, and there's you. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, and then and the smaller shows, it's like, okay, I can shop a little bit now. Yeah, exactly. Like I didn't, I don't know that I looked at a single pen on a table. Like really. Like I had a few things that were like shown to me and I got some things from other people, but um, I'm not there just like to browse. Right. This just doesn't happen for me at the show. <laughs> um, so I just want to show at least a couple of things because... I thought uh, it would be interesting for you all to see. Um, so Monteverde came out with a new ink. Yeah, which which a lot of people, if you were early to the show and maybe huh? were a part of the Fire Hazard crew, received one of these things. Ooh, it's a good band name. Right <laughs> Fire Hazard crew. Fire Hazard crew. There you go. So last year they had DC Super Show Blue from Monteverde, and it is a lovely, lovely color. They after the show, it. I use that color on the regular. Oh, it's great! And after the show, they make it available, and they will be doing the same with this. Yeah. So this was, uh, you know, given out for free to uh, the first uh, couple hundred attendees. Yep. Um, but uh, later, it will be an ongoing addition to the library. We're gonna line. have ours soon if we don't already. You know, uh, have it on the way. There you go. But it's a lovely teal, really pretty. It is. I like it. It's a darker, deeper teal. Um, another one we got is a new Noodler's ink called Tokyo Gift, which is like a um, cherry blossom kind of color. Delightful. I wanted to so see the color down. at the show, so I went over to the ink sample table uh -huh. and spilled it all over my hands. <laughs> I saw that Andy did spill it all over her hands at the show. Yeah, I hadn't made it to the table yet, and we were at lunch, and she's like, well, here's the color. And yeah, she was like, this is what it looks like. Her fingers. So this is not like any crazy properties or anything from Noodler's. It's just... A very very pleasant. It's a unique red though. It's yeah, kind a, of a red color. Pink with just like a little bit of coral kind of coralness going on to it, yeah. but not a lot. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's got the U.S. flag and the Japanese flag. It says a friendship that was hard won and is now enduring for the ages. So it's actually like surprisingly non-controversial. It's letters. about 
uh, global <clears throat> unity. Oh my gosh. Yeah, which is pretty cool. That's and it, delightful. It's also well, it's also cool because DC. You know, the reason we have cherry blossoms in DC is because it was a gift. So I think that's from Japan. So ah. that's that's the whole theming of the cherry. Look at that. We don't need to wait stuff, for Micah so. to show up to just to exactly. tell us what it means. I mean, he'd probably have more information <laughs> for you than I would. Um, and then we also had uh, in those bags too, along with the, the DC Super Show teal, was these sweet little Tootsie Pop, um, uh, well, non Tootsie Pop S, nondescript <laughs> lollipop, um, you know, chocolate filled candy that we lollipop. Gave away. Yeah, those are specific to the DC Show. We could repurpose them, um, but that's that's all that exists for right now. So if you happen to get there early for the show, you got one of those, and no one else did, so you're special. <laughs> uh, and then. You've got some other stuff here too. I got a couple other things I just wanted to show very briefly. Um, of course, we're always looking for things to carry at the show. Some things I, I get personally because I'm just a fanboy. Yeah, so don't get excited but, about Canalea. Yeah, no, <laughs> Canalea is still doing their thing, but I did get a new pen from them, so that's. Um, I would love to carry their stuff. The Hugh and Carol are awesome, uh, but this is just a, a pen to show off. That's all. Um, so. If you can guess what color I went with, it's red. Like a huge shock. Yeah, red. Yeah, no. I went with blue. <laughs> this is blue Hawaii. And oh my god. Yeah, gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. That and is stunning. So I got my first candle last year, and so I guess this year I just felt the need to continue that train. So uh, good stuff. You know, Jonathan Brooks makes their material. It's mm. made of Illumilite, and it's just amazing looking stuff. And uh, I've been a big fan of Clark Little. He, on Instagram, he lives in Hawaii and posts all these like sweet pictures of waves crashing in Hawaii, and this reminds me exactly of that. So, well, they so base their acrylic on very on specific photos, awesome. so every pen has a matching photo, and it's really incredible. Exactly. And then the other thing that we thought was interesting was um, we ran into a company called Galen Leather, or Galen Galen, not sure how it's pronounced, but I'll say it however I'll say it different ways and confuse you all. There we go. Um, but anyway, they're based out of Turkey. And so they were at the DC show for the first time. And uh, we had already gotten a buzz about this company by the time I made it over to their table. And they like had Turkish coffee and Turkish delights. And so I felt like royalty over there as I was talking to them. And their table was just swarming all weekend. It was. And in fact, I think they sold everything they People brought. People were loving it. So that's cool. Um, but we talked to them a little bit. So something could happen there in the future. It's not a guarantee, but we're talking. Um, and they have a writing box, which for me, is like awesome because yeah. if you have been following us for 10 plus years I actually did some blog posts early on about writing boxes because I was trying to make them myself. What? I didn't know in the, that. In the early days before we started retailing fountain pens um, or well I was still in the process of making fountain pens but transitioning out of it um, I thought writing boxes could be something else I could make. So it's basically a box. It's got a cork backing. It's got you know. You got a leather pens. backing up here. Yeah, slots for pens, notebooks, like little rulers and stuff like that. Um, and then you can hold, travel with all your stuff. And then here you can have your notebook and you can set it on here, oh, and so you cool. can write. So that's the it's idea. So cool. Uh, you know, it's and, if you see, and, if, and if you go to their website, you can see the whole setup done. They have this thing chock full of oh, yeah. fun little knickknacks so like and additions. They have a ton of accessories down. in their line too. Boom. It's very, cool. it's, it's Instagram fantastic. Oh yeah, they sell little leather carrying straps for it, all sorts of really yep. neat stuff. They got Tomoe River notebooks of varying paper thicknesses or paper sheet counts, I guess. Um, and then they have some like pen cases and stuff too. Um, you know, like this is made for a notebook and five pens. Uh, and then, you know, they have one that I'd never seen before. Which yeah, is a, that, that, that color is really unique. Yeah, it's like an unstained leather, mm -hmm. I guess, or I don't know exactly what the name of it is. But this basically will um, uh, patina yeah. over time with your hand oils after like six months, which looks amazing. Um, and then it's just, you know, interesting configurations in here. You can hold your keys, notebook. You know, the cool thing about the notebook here is you can fit on the side bound or a top bound. Yeah, so, so you can take the, uh, take the edge of the notebook, slide it right in so here, boom, and then there you go. Yeah, and then you can fit pens and other various things, and it's got a, a pen holder that you can actually remove Look from at that. the thing. So they're very thoughtful about it, so I appreciate that. Um, so again, I don't know what could be in the works with that, but you can buy direct from their site. It's in a the very neat set of products. Yeah. So, you know, some interesting stuff that we saw at the show, and I think we'll, you know, have some good memories to share oh, for, for years sure. to come. We got to see so many neat people, meet so many yeah. nice folks. Absolutely, it was wonderful. So, if you've never had a chance to make it to DC or any pen show, it's definitely worth going at least once to a show. Yeah. 
because it's quite an experience if you've ever been into it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Have a fantastic Wednesday and right on.